I'm not back to that. Oh, just some aircraft landing. Master. 
Cessna 326 Hemisphere. And uh, the feature, the unique feature about this Cessna is, is it has the engine at the front mm -hmm. and also in the back. Oh, oh. And then it has two tails. Two tails. So basically this was the advanced version of a single engine that the Cessna tried. For two people? Hmm? No, it's for six people. Six people? Six no, people no, can no. sit in this. Very good. So it has one engine, two engines, two engines, one in the back, so one in the front. Oh, okay. So if suppose there's some problem in the front, front. the so front one, you can shut down the front and you can fly on the back. What's yeah. the difference between the two engines, Amir? There's no difference. It's the same, the same engines. Sorry, sorry. One, sorry. one push. Sorry. One. So one. Basically, the, the back one is pushing, the front one is pulling. Mm -hmm. So it's a pull and push. So both mm -hmm. works at the time? Both works at the time. Oh, okay. Both works at the same time, same speed. And the beauty of this is, even though if I lose one engine, let's say for something, I still have other engine to fly it back. Yeah, I have a backup uh, engine. But usually you oh, see twin cool. engines with the engines on the wings mm -hmm. on each side, then you are in trouble because then one engine goes, you have to uh, slow down on the other engine and then you kick in the rudder on the opposite side to keep the airplane leveled. Mm -hmm. So it becomes challenging. But with uh, this, uh, even though if one engine goes out, no problem, the front engine is fine at the back because the airflow is going in a straight line. It's not on one side, either side. So you see, if the power is on one side, it'll push to the other side where there's less power. So, the, in that regard, this is a very, very nice design, very nice plane. Are these real aircraft still in production today? Uh, unfortunately, Cessna is, but not the 336 Skymaster or the 337 Skymaster. But this one, the unique thing about this, in the actuality, it's a pressurized fuselage. So you can basically go up to 30,000 feet on the Cessna and you know you have air conditioning and the fuselage is pressurized. But with the 336 it wasn't like that. And the other feature with the 337 was the landing gears were retractable that they would fold inside the fuselage. They would retract into the fuselage. So that's the difference between 336 and 337. how an aircraft is, flies and how aircraft is built because there's a whole science behind how the airplane flies. Like what you saw here, there, were, there, was, there was a difference of airflow over the wing and under the wing. There was a whole aerodynamic aspect why the airplane flew. And that's what I want to start teaching. And my first introduction, uh, introductory class is on April 23rd at Studio 89, uh, which is the so the event is going to start at 7 p.m. till 8 p.m. and you know I would like you guys to come and just see what I have to present to you guys in terms of you know how the airplane flies and how the airplane is built. Basically, it's for the people who want to you know get into uh, aeronautical courses. So the, what I will uh, I'm going to do is give them the basics of aeronautics. So when they go into the colleges and universities, they already have a lot, you know, information on them, and they already have, you know, uh, basics that, and more than basics, that's stuff that uh, universities and colleges don't even practically teach students.